Hey guys, it's Shy Sweet, and yet again, Guardian Tales released another update earlier this morning. And as usual, you can jump over to guardiantales.com and find the update for Nightmare World 10 update, and to find the content in the in in this update. So what's new this time around? And first off, there is a new world, Nightmare World 10 Unrecorded uh, Unrecorded World Part One is added. And right now you can play the three first stages that will has opened today, and then you can play stages four, five, and six from March 30 when they will be opened. And then they added another hero, a new three-star hero called Necromancer Noxia and her exclusive weapon Furfur. So let's jump back to the game and check Noxia out. And Noxia is a support champion of Dark Affinity. And she is carrying baskets as weapon, and her normal attack is called Necromancy. Uh, spirit Orb launches spirit to enemy and inflicts ranged damage and restores dark spirits HP by 20% of the damage inflicted. And then Summon Spirit summons a spirit that follows Noxia. Dark spirit only appears during battle, and dark spirit either inflicts melee damage or taunt enemies nearby. So you can do both range damage and melee damage with her that's pretty nice her chain skill is called spirit joint attack it goes from all to airborne and it in inflicts 250 percent of dps range damage to the enemy with a myriad of spirits when dark spirit is summoned inflicts a 250 percent of dps extra melee damage so you do both range and uh, melee damage with the chain skill as well if you have the dark spirit summoned so sounds like 500 percent of dps from ranged and melee damage when he hits a summon so that sounds like that's going to do some crazy damage right there the special ability if you max her out soul manipulation increases dark spirit attack by 40 percent and restores noxious hp by 40 percent of damage inflicted by dark spirit so when the Dark Spirit attacks, you will also heal at the same time, which is pretty nice. So attack A24, which is pretty high. HP 27k, defense 208, which is pretty high for a support character, I feel like. And then we have the party skill HP plus 40%. That's nice, it's always nice with extra HP. 5% shield increase on battle start, skill attack plus 8% and 1% HP recovery on enemy kill. So, sounds on paper like she is going to be really good. And let's check her exclusive weapon as well. So, skill information here, touch of afterlife guide, regeneration 9 seconds, which is not super slow, not super fast. Attack 290% of DPS, pulls the target underground and inf inflicts melee damage and put in down state. And then we have the special ability here. On hit, inflicts 40% of DPS range damage with 40% and Dark Spirit Taunt inflicts 100% of DPS uh, melee damage. So, again, you're going to do both ranged and melee damage with your attacks. So, this sounds... Again, that she is a support champion, but it looks like she is going to deal some serious damage, to be honest. And let's go to the arena and the Colosseum to see if anyone uses her yet. We go to the rankings. And first team has already Noxia on her team, together with Arabelle, Ogma, and Tinia. So that's... That's a new composition, definitely. And here's another one. So, and here's another one. Definitely looks like she will be in the meta for the Colosseum, at least, together with some new team compositions, it looks like. So that's, that's definitely interesting. And let's go to the arena as well. And yep, she's in the first team here as well. See, let's see if she is in. Here's another one on seventh place, and another one on fourteenth place. So even though she's al only been out for less than a day in uh, the uh, world servers, 
she is already in several of the top teams within pvp with points towards that she is going to be a new meta champion for the pvp and i bet she's going to be good for pve as well i will probably try to go for her later on but i am also interested in getting ekesax for for Ogma since i recently got Ogma, but we will see so except for that we have events, we have the pickup events and as I mentioned except for Noxia there is also Mecha Warrior Ogma and Executive Red Hood Arabelle. All three are really good heroes and as you saw the top team in the Colosseum right now uses all three of them. So, And then we have the weapons Furfur, Ekesax and Genocide for, for those heroes. And there's a new roadmap event starting today called Soul Awakening Girl. So. She's a necromancer, she awakes souls, I guess. Starts today, goes on to the 6th of April, and there were some good rewards in there. Lots of gems this time, actually, which I like, because I like to save up my gems to be able to do summons. And then we have a we an event called Match the Weapons event. Match weapons with their associated collections, and it starts on 22nd of March, which was yesterday. So I haven't really checked this out, but if you're interested, go to this link and go check uh, check what it's out all about. And then we have upgrades to the shop. There is some new uh, costume rotation done, and new equipment costume rotation, new packages, and these are all things you need to spend real money on if you want to get them. And then there will be a new guild raid called City Hunters starting on March 25th, which is on Thursday. And there will be four bosses as usual. And then there's a new season in Camazone, so new artifacts and different artifacts from what they've been before. Hopefully the new artifacts can help me take me higher than stage four, level 14 that I've been going to earlier. And some changes to the co-op, there's two new maps added and the dungeon level is simplified to 6 levels and the highest level of dungeons is now 85. So you can do 50, 60, 70, 75, 80 and 85. I usually stick to the level 50. Uh, one new map added to the arena, there's two new collections added to the knowledge. And then there's a bunch of hero and equipment balance improvement and bug revisions. So if you want to read about them, go to the homepage and find out if your heroes or equipment are affected by this. And then we have bug revision and function improvement. Again, you'll have to read the details on your own if, you, well, if you're interested. And then there's new missions added in World 10 and Recorded World Nightmare Clear Beginner Mission is added as well. So not a giant update this time not a lot of new content but there is a new world and there is a new hero so there's always something new coming out with these updates and i like it and i will be doing some summons later on so please be back for that video to see if i can get anything good from from my si summons so that was it for this video guys please let me know in the comments if you're going to go for noxia or if you're going to go for any one of the other heroes that are available for the pickup summons right now so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give me a like and don't forget to subscribe i've been shy sweet and see you in the next video